Today, guys, we'll be doing this graduation setup. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so for this setup, I will be using my circle ring that I purchased from Amazon as well as the covering is from Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box for both of them. Now, I don't typically use this backdrop outdoors, but yeah, I don't know. Your girl, <laughs> your girl was a little tired and it's really a hassle transporting the other backdrop from, I believe I purchased it from E. Faber Mart. Um, it's just bulkier and it's bigger. It's just too much sometimes. But I use this and I put a weight on it. And for the covering, this is my first time actually working with this one. Well, one in general for around the round arch. And I have, if you have help, it'd probably be better. But I use the clips that I have, which I will also use in the description box. I purchased those from Amazon as well. And I have a 260 on them. I'll be using those to um, connect the balloons. But I purchased those from Amazon in the covering and it was I just used them to basically help attach the covering until it was completely on I'm trying to hold it in place so now I'm just putting my rig points and I don't typically put my rig, point, rig points on but I knew I was just going to do a standard half garland on one side for this setup and now I'm attaching the vinyl now I'm not too savvy with the vinyl um, that was me just trying to measure the middle, but I'm not too savvy when it comes to all the vinyl and stuff like that. I have a Cricut machine and I just use all Cricut products to keep it sim simple. I don't know like the best brands and stuff like that. For me, it gets the job done and I don't really have time to learn other brands. So I just keep it simple and follow the instructions on the Cricut app because it pretty much walk you through it. I mean, you can play around with finding different fonts and stuff like that and I usually just do the measurements because you can put the measurements of like the backdrop you're using and then just test out different sizes and stuff like that so that's what I basically do every time I'm using a Cricut machine I just go through and um, find the best size to use and pretty much try to recreate the shape on the Cricut app because you can like make a circle and you can put the circle at the same inches or size that you have in real life and then trying to, you know, walk through the steps like that. So here I'm just attaching, and this is my first time attaching vinyl to, like, material. It wasn't as bad. You do have to hold it while you're pulling off the vinyl so it's not lifting up because it, it definitely sticks better if you're trying to put it on, like, painted wood, of course. So the material was a little hard. I actually just kind of leaned the backdrop all the way to the brick wall, and it helped me take off the vinyl a little bit easier. So here, the clusters I'm using is a cluster of eight balloon with a quad of four balloon attached. So this right here is 12 balloons all together. And this is what I'll be using to build out the full body. Doing the four balloons and the eight balloon cluster allows me to build with like thickness and length at the same time. So I will attach the quad, that white one with the quad first, I attached it to the cluster eight balloons and then the white cluster eight balloons, I attached it to the brown cluster eight balloons. So it keep it uh, tight and firm. So, and I'm using neck to neck method. And again, this is actually a cluster of four balloons and a, um, sorry, cluster of six balloons and a quad of four balloons. And then the brown again is a cluster of eight balloons and a quad of four balloons where I am attaching it twice. So I attached it to the white and the gold, and then I attached the cluster of brown, those eight balloons to the, um, gold as well so two times with one cluster and that was 12 balloons again and this is again a cluster of eight balloons and a quad of four balloons and i will be attaching them at two different points so i attach the quad and then i'm also attaching the cluster eight balloons to the brown eight balloons that's right above it and it kind of it pulls the garland together and it allows me to build the thickness of the garland while also building the length and it blends the color in because if you notice when you go cluster to cluster it kind of gives the garland harsh shape uh, sorry harsh lines but if you do like a quad with the cluster and they don't even have to be together tied together i just feel like you move faster when you do so 
um, it allows you to build, it, it allows you to blend the colors in, basically. So here I'm adding just a quad of four balloons at the top. I'm just moving it around to shape it out a little bit. Again, I'm adding a quad of four balloons at the bottom just to kind of thicken it out. I wasn't going to do the full, like, dragging it all out on the ground because, again, it's outdoors, it's pavement, so don't want anything to pop. So I pretty much just went to the bottom, and that's it. And here I'm just adding in. I think it was a dupe. Um, I just twisted it in the balloon because I think I lost one. So here I have the clip, and I have my 260 on the clip, and I just wrap it around one or two balloons, probably quite a few of them, just so it don't move. And here, this is actually a quad in a cluster of eight balloons as well that I attached to the bottom cluster, which was the cluster eight balloons. And this is also a quad in a cluster eight, and I'm just playing around with position right here now, just trying to get them where I want them. And here, I added another quad over there, just for thickness. All together, I use 136 balloons, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not including the 5-inch balloon. The 5 inches probably was like another 100. Um, but the 11-inch and 16-inch, I used about 136. Um, and I did use some of the clusters, like all the big brown ones. They had two 16-inch balloons and one, and then six 11-inch balloons. Everything else. Um, for the gold, I only used 11 inch, and then for the white, two of the clusters on the left side had two 16 inch balloons in them, and then the rest was all 11 inches. And then here, I had just had some extra balloons. I was just trying to find what to do with them, um, so I added a dupe of that white at the bottom. And I the pointy part at the top on the right side, I wasn't, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I should have probably just tied it a little bit um, tighter, or maybe, I don't know did something else. I, I, I didn't like that it was too pointy and now and not as round as the left side but I guess it still got the job done so not gonna complain and here I'm just shaping it out making sure I like everything and now I'm gonna start adding on the five inches all of my five inches I do pretty much at home I use my Legenda and they are sized to about three or three and a half inches if you have a Legenda, I usually put mines for double stuff, 0 0.7, and for single stuff, 0 0.6. And if it is, um, if I'm using a hand pump, I usually just use one pump of air um, to inflate my balloons. And that allows uh, for me to have the same sh um, size for all my 5-inch balloons. Because I do like my 5-inch balloons all to have the same size. Uh, and not be oversized or trying to guess what the size was. So I just try to be consistent when I'm inflating my five inches for the most part. But having a legenda definitely helps a lot. And here I'm just having, I have this last little piece of vinyl that I added on. And I'm about to pop this. So I did double stuff the brown because I had some truffle left that I wanted to get rid of. So I did double stuff some of the brown. Actually, I only double stuffed the 11 and the 16 inch. I didn't double stuff the five inch, but I, one of them popped and I just wanted to replace it. And here I'm adding on my shine now. I'm not really a fan of shine with the pastel colors. I like the matte look, but this was like brown and gold. So I'm like, ugh, it, it can get real ugly real quick. So I did the shine for that, and that was mega shine. I will leave a link for that as well. And this is the final setup, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the next one.